Hi guys, good morning. This is Faithful with Elegance for Less. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. And if this is your first time to my channel, welcome and thank you so much for choosing to watch this video. I'm going to do a quick home decor DIY. So for this DIY, you will need a kid's toy. Yes, I am doing another kid's toy home decor. They're just fun to play with <laughs> and to recreate. This is a toy blade um, from the Dollar Tree. So you'll need three of these to create this home decor. And you will need scissors and a candle holder, your glue gun and glue sticks. You'll also need some diamond wrap, I'm thinking diamond wrap, and you'll also need the Dollar Tree glitter glue sticks okay i think i may be using i have to open it up don't i i am going to use the gold okay and you will also need some spray paint to spray paint your decor so i'm going to um pull this apart very easy to do also you want to pull the handle of the blade off. Then you need your scissors because you need to cut this piece off. Very easy, just like that. Then you can seal it back if you want to because of course if you cut it off there's going to be a hole. So you can seal it back if you want to. not necessary but if you want to you can okay so what I did I went ahead and took both of these and I placed the one that I cut off the handle I placed it next to it and glued it together now what I want to do with this one with the third one is place it in, right next to the one that I glued so I will have somewhat of a circle okay so let's attempt to do that I went ahead to make sure the glue would sit perfectly it would hold the pla two plastics together so now I want to lay my glue down where my existing glue is from the other toy and go ahead and place that toy right next to the other. Make sure it's lining up properly before it dries. I'm going to hold this together and I'll be back. Hold it in place. I'll be right back. So this is still drying, so I don't want to move it too much, but I would like to add some glue to the tip to hold it in place. So let's get that glued together in place. So now I've got three of the toys and like I said I just went ahead and glued the sides together I'm going to let that dry then spray paint it actually I'm going to let it dry because I don't want it to fall apart at all let's make sure it's pretty sturdy Matter of fact, let's add some more glue here. I'm going to let it dry and then I'd like to add some design to this and then spray paint it. All right, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I decided I wanted to cut off the bottom of the toy and just have them all in one circle. 
Then I went ahead and drew a circle of the Dollar Tree Circular Tea Light Holder. Now you can get it at the Dollar Tree for two in a pack for a dollar. I'm going to work with, instead of this candle holder, I decide I'm going to go ahead and use the Dollar Tree, the, the one we've always used, and the tea light. I'm going to glue that together, just like that. I've tried to do it several ways, and I believe I prefer this way. So I'm laying my parchment paper down, adding, and I went ahead and measured out the size of the tea light. Then I placed some glue down on the circle of the parchment paper and went in and fill in the circle. Now I still have a few holes there that I want to patch. So I wanted to bring you guys in to show you how I achieve this process. Okay, now that that's down, I'm going to take my parchment paper, bring it over, and press. Just like that. When this is dry, <clears throat> you'll start to see the lifting. See the parts that are wet, you can see it. When it's dry, you won't see it anymore. Just like that. Okay, and then you will end up with that. So I'm going to go ahead and trim off my glue to the circle that I want. Just like that. Let's go ahead and use these. I guess I can leave it there. Place it right on top. Remember, the glue will not stick to the parchment paper, so that's one of the reasons why I love working with the parchment paper. Or wax paper, either one. Okay, I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to go on outside, spray paint this, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I spray painted it gold. And this is the shimmering gold. Both of them spray painted. Now I did a 
DIY creating these flowers from the Dollar Tree mini um, silver spoons and I did uh, show you how to create this particular um, flower so I didn't take the time to do another one so what I want to do now I would like to, ooh, this isn't fully dry. I need to let this dry a bit before we can glue it on there. I'm going to do the silver and gold. I'm going to go ahead and let this dry and I'll be back in a bit. I did add my Walmart beads, which comes with the adhesive. I did the small ones and then the large one in the center. I think I really like that. I also went to the back and I put some, oh, that looks like it's not straight. I put some in the back. I have to go back and straighten that. Put some in the back and not much because I want to focus on the front. Now, I've mentioned about these flowers that we created before on my other DIY that I've done. Let's see if I can get this stabilized. And I went ahead and took the glue, which I've shown you guys how to do that before, and made a little um, dot, which is like a gem. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in the center of this, of my flower. Just like that. What I'm thinking. I would like to glue this on here, so let's go ahead and do that before I fix all the other imperfections. I want to get it close to the edge. And the reason why we created the center so that this would have something to lay back on. So I'm going to hold this in place, let it dry. And I will come back and glue our flowers on together. Okay guys, so I went around and the beads to the, the base around the trimming and downwards. I like it. I really do. I hope you can see the base. It's some um, spoons all the way around. I think it looks very nice. Now, I would like to go this way. This is my, my thoughts. Or sideways. And I'm not quite sure which way to go. I don't know. I kind of like sideways now that I'm looking at it in the camera. All right, let's go sideways. We'll do that. I'm going to glue this on and place it somewhere where you can see the full view. And I'll wrap it up. Thank you guys so much. I'll be right back. Guys, this is how it turned out. I love the detail. I hope you do too. If you do, give me a thumbs up and share with your family and friends. I truly appreciate your time. Let me know what you're thinking. I want to hear about what you think of the detail and if this is something you would recreate for your home. All right, I appreciate it. I truly do. I will see you on my next DIY.